to my channel. <laughs> Do you like this view? Is this a good view for you? Oh, shoot. Okay, I didn't make my paper. So jumping straight into this, let's just take this off because the first thing we need to do is take these braids out. You guys, these braids have been in my hair for how freaking long? Like, I kid you not, it's been like a month. It's been a month of some change. I was just gonna go get some scissors and cut like the bottom of this. One. But it's okay. I'm going to fill this up with some water. Not really fill it up because we're gonna need that in just a second. Using this old water bottle because who's wasting water over here? No, guys. I just need a little bit. I'm not even gonna put a lot because we're gonna need that in just a second. Hey y'all, so starting off this video, I'm gonna be taking down these braids. They are one month old. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I would have kept them in if it wasn't for me needing to get these videos out i would have kept it in and i'm gonna be taking this out with that water that we just put in that bottle and i didn't fill it up all the way it's just the water to help me detangle because i do not not de yeah, detangle and take down just because i don't detangle nor take down my hair on while it's dry i just use the water to help make it moist as you see i'm putting it on throughout the clips it makes it a lot easier trust me you guys if you haven't done it please go and do that and taking down these braids is it just makes the take down process so much easier i promise you guys and again it's nothing to it so i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the takedown process not gonna lie i am like impressed with my hair right now y'all a year ago i cut my hair and like i think i had to i had to prove something to myself i had to prove to myself your hair grows and right before i cut my hair my hair is thick so i was actually happy to cut my hair because i was like oh god i'm not gonna have to deal with my hair like you know what i mean a whole year later has passed and considering it's been a whole year this makes sense i would hope it would be at this stage but like y'all i'm just surprised but the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go ahead and section them into four sections Look at that, I can make a puff in my head. It does help that it's already split down the middle. So I'm just going to split it down the middle's middle. <laughs> How is this already split, y'all? This ginger. My color is so good. If I would have followed the directions on the bottom, this would have faded. I'm going to make a video on it when I get ready to dye my hair again, but we got like a whole another two months. I might do it on my birthday. That's probably, we're in August, September, October. I'm going to re-dye it again on my birthday. That way we can have like a little birthday shit ass. Because baby, I'm going to be 21. What? let's go ahead and make the concoction and all i'm gonna do is i'm going to be detangling my hair basically the pre-poo because the aztec is going to be our shampoo for today so that's going to be our cleansing step in our wash routine to make the mixture this is all you're gonna need i'm only doing this because water bottles are notorious for just being left around the house we're not wasting any water bottle put it in your hair it's water okay anyways so you're just gonna need some water. If you don't have a water bottle, please go get it from the sink. As again, it's just water bottles all around the house. So we got, we're gonna need some water. You're gonna need the conditioner of your choice. And I'm gonna be using the Melanin Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. And then you're gonna just gonna need a continuous spray bottle. It don't have to be continuous. You're just gonna need a spray bottle. But if you want it to be easier on yourself and your hair and your time, then just get a continuous. Right. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So what you do is you put your water in your bottle. And then you put your conditioner in your bottle. So let's do it. And 
And then of course you give it a little shaky shake, a little shaky shake, a little shaky shake. And then you should get like this cloudy mixture thing. I don't fill the bottle up all the way because I notice most of the majority of the time I don't use the whole spray bottle. And then you just go in with your conditioner. So it'll look like that. And you got your conditioner water mix and you got your pre-poop. All right, let's detangle. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to definitely focus on the ends. It's a big thing we learned. Focus on the ends, your ends are the most important thing. Make sure you have a detangling comb or a detangling brush. I prefer a detangling brush. Brush, but because I cannot find it right now, this is the next best thing. All right, another thing you can use your fingers. So I'm going to just spray this section. And again, make sure that you're focusing on your ends. And if you have low porosity like me, you're just gonna have to spray a little bit longer. It's a cat. You really just want it damp. It don't really have to be like super wet. You just want it damp. And then you're just going to section that off. In total, I'll have eight sections. I have four big sections. I split each of those four sections into two. Then I twist them up. So we're going to spray that down. And again, we want it to be damp, moist, you know, conditionerized. That's not a word, but we want it to be moist. We don't want it to be dry or anything like that. Cause I mean, you finna rack up. You finna rack a car and do it, okay? Okay y'all, so I did just finish the first one, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did the next one. I must admit, I am the girly that does not like this product. I don't know if I'm using it wrong. I don't know if I'm having like protein overload. I have absolutely no idea what it is, but I do not like it. That's how much came off of one section in one month. We're gonna start from the, the rootest to the tootest. I mean the tootest to the rootest. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna start at the ends and make our way to the root. So with my hair being damped, I'm just going to lightly comb it out. And this is just to detangle my hair so that it's easier when I shampoo and everything like that. But it's really, my hair is really not that bad, to be honest with you. Ugh, I need my detangling brush. I can't do this. I cannot do this. I need to go find my brush, y'all. Maybe if I add some more, I don't know. And then just gonna comb you guys. I must admit, I need to go find my brush. This is terrible. This never takes this long with my brush. Me and my brush like buddies, but my buddy left me. Aww. I have to go find my buddy, cause who is this? <laughs> my fingers. And I just realized it too, I'm not gonna stress too much about like detangling it for real. As long as I can like take my finger and run it through, we're good. And then I'm just gonna twist it up. And this is why right here is why I don't pre-poo. I go in, I soak my hair in water, and then I put this shampoo on my head. Cause no, who's doing all of this? All right. And then I'm just gonna do that to the rest of my hair. So I'm gonna see you when I'm done. I think I'm gonna just finger detangle the rest of this time. Try not to change up on you guys, but yeah, I'm gonna finna finger detangle. Cause the, me and the comb not getting along, me and the conditioner, we just not getting along, and you're not gonna pull my hair out. So, sorry for the turn up, um, the twist up on you guys, but we're just gonna finger detangle. Oh, and also I am just pumping more conditioner into my hands. If I feel like I was too watery or whatever, I am pumping more conditioner into my hands. Oh, wait, no, it's let me detangle it. Maybe it is user error. It's fine, it's fine guys, it's fine. It's Fine. All right, and I'm twisting it up. I'm not dealing with it anymore. Again, it's probably just user error, but I'm like, I don't want to use all the product, but apparently this one I'm gonna have to do. Hey y'all, so I realized it was definitely user error with this. 
Do I still like it? No. But I will must admit it's just because I just need more water. But as y'all see, I use half of the half of the water. But we're still gonna use it because we're going to put the Aztec in. When you put the Aztec in, your hair has to be damp. And as you see, my hair is damp. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the video. And I got my handy dandy towel. But let's mix it. All right guys, so to name a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a mixing bowl, some mixing utensils, scooper, and then of course the, the mask. And I got this apple cider vinegar from Kroger's. Okay, so it's fairly simple. Just this into this, this into this, use this to scoop this, use this to mix this. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do two scoops and that should be pretty good to start off with. If I need any more, then we'll get more. Gonna fill this up to the brim. So the consistency that I'm going for, I'm going for more of a liquid. So I'm just gonna do two to two, mix it, and might add another one. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need another one. Probably gonna need two more. <laughs> And so that is a pretty good consistency. That's what I want. I don't want it thick, but I want it dripping just a little bit. That's perfect. So let's put it on my hair. All right, so I have my towel. I'm gonna make sure I wrap that around me and be careful because it can get very messy. If you want to put gloves on me, I'm not doing that. So remember you want to put it on damp hair. So if my section is not damp enough for me, we still have my spray bottle and we just spray it a little bit and put it on. Hey guys, I just wanted to come and let you guys know it is nothing to this process but to do it. Make sure you're putting it on damped hair and you're just going to apply, detangle it in there, get dirty with it, get down and diggy with it if you know what I mean. But that's really it and I'm just going to do it to my whole head. But I think you would do the same thing like with the shampoo, start from the roots and end from the root to the tooth. So I hear most people talk about how they clump your curls together and they really do. That's a really cool clump on my curls. Like that really is. Remember, do not put this on dry hair. Another thing you can do is literally just go soak your hair in water, but we're gonna use the rest of this in the spray bottle. That was not enough at all. At all. That didn't even get half of my head. Oh my goodness. Well, time to make some more. You would think this would be enough for my hair, but every time I put it in there, my hair like drinks it. I guess my hair not as short as it used to be. This is actually still pretty damn. I'm gonna give you a little bit more water.
I told y'all that wasn't even gonna be enough either. I'm not putting up more. Y'all better scrape this up and call it a day. It looks so ashy. I hope it's not like taking the color out and I hope it's just the ashiness from the gray because I really would like the color to stay away. But honestly, knowing this product, I would be surprised if it takes the color from out of my hair. So we're gonna hope it doesn't. Anyway, let's go put a bag on my head and then we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes starting now. Hey y'all, so we're in a new scene. Ooh, 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 ooh. We in the bathroom. So it's been 30 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take the bag off my hair. I'm really hoping it didn't take like my color out, but even if it did, it's really okay. But I really hope it didn't. Cause I know the color is gonna fade anyway. So I really hope it just made the color vibrant. So we're gonna see. We're gonna say, okay. So I don't have a mirror, so you guys are my mirror and we're gonna go ahead and rinse this bad boy. Oh, it's so cold. The water has been in my ear. The color still looks like it's there, you guys. Ah! <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check it in the mirror, make sure I got everything. I see up here it doesn't look like I got everything, so I'm gonna just um get that off at the sink. Hey y'all. So before I get too cold, let's go ahead and section it, put it to four, put the thing on, I'm finna take a chill. All right, so be careful because your hair is gonna be dry. I must admit that pre cooling did help the dryness a little bit. As y'all see, my hair is moving. So as you can tell, it's not super dry, it's dry, but it's not super dry to the point where you can't really maneuver it. Like I can still maneuver it. And also be mindful that this is a very messy process. If I show y'all my bathroom floor right now, I don't even know if y'all would believe me or not, but no, it's a very messy process. So be careful. Have a bunch of towels on hand because you're gonna need them. I'm just actually happy it didn't take the color away. That's what, when I shampoo, my shampoos like always take the color away and it's like, no, I want it to keep the color and that actually didn't take the color away so i am very proud but definitely i must have been pre pooing and most people like some people add oils in there we might try that but honestly i like how we pre pooed before that put the moisture in there and then we just kind of put the cleanser on there and it cleans my hair out take a section down free coffers and show y'all that it is in fact clean i love it i love it but that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be using the meals. I would show it off to you guys right here, but it's actually in the other room. I don't have it. I don't put it on the screen. But yeah, but we're going to use the meals. Rosemary, rosemary, mint, deep conditioning, 
that is like chef kiss that's my favorite deep conditioner at the moment so yeah make sure you stay tuned for that also i wanted to let you guys know that if you are in the dfw area my website is up so you guys can start to book your appointments with me my website is up my booking page is up everything is up you guys can go ahead and start to book your appointments with me and that's really it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and i hope to catch you guys in the next video